is uh, Sunday, September the 6th, in case you're watching this on a replay. This is Liz with Liz's Crafts, and um, we will be using this Dollar Tree container. It's metal, well, it's aluminum. It says flowers and garden on both sides, and uh, we're going to Mod Podge this um, material from a jelly roll onto it. And I'm just kind of waiting for um, the notification to go out that I'm live so everyone can see it. So let me see here. And there we are. <laughs> Okay, so I'm not sure why my live notifications are not going out. Oh, there it is. Okay, so here we are. All right, so as I was saying, I got this from the Dollar Tree. It says flowers and garden on both sides. It's uh, aluminum. And we're going to cover it with this material from a jelly roll that I had. And I had gotten this jelly roll from... Um, Joann's online several months ago. And then we're going to Mod Podge this piece of scrap paper onto this little pumpkin. So I'm just going to pour my Mod Podge in um, this plastic thing here. And I'm going to go ahead and do the pumpkin first. That way it will dry and we can use our sanding block to sand the edges of it to get the excess uh, paper off. And all I did was I traced around the pumpkin on the um, on the scrapbook paper and then I cut it out. And we're just gonna lay this aside then so it will dry and like I said, then we'll use our sanding block on it. So I'm just gonna smooth it down and then we'll set that aside. So if you do like this project, I would appreciate it if you would sprinkle the love and uh, that keeps my videos out there and people can see them and, um, you know, spread the love to others that you think might like this video. So instead of Mod Podge on this, you could use hot glue and since it is metal, I would use the high temperature um, hot glue on this and what I'm going to do since there's a seam here and a seam here I'm going to start at a seam and I'm just going to put Mod Podge all over this but like I said you could use hot glue I wanted to give mine the fall look so I'm using um, this brown and tannish with some gold in it material. Okay, so I have this like this. And I'm going to start with my end. And I'm going to put it over here. And then I want this to sit along the edge of my container here. So it's not going to be down under it, it's going to be on top of the edge, if that works. If it doesn't, that's okay. And it, this is a little uneven because um, it's uh, larger at the top than it is at the bottom. So it's not going to be exactly right you're going to have a few wrinkles down at the bottom where it's smaller and i'm just going to continue around with my mod podge and my material and i'm putting a good amount of mod podge because the um the material does soak it in and if you're joining us please um say hi or hello let us know that you're online and 
watching us. I would appreciate it. Oh, there's somebody. There's Alice. Hi, Alice. How are you? Glad you could join us. I appreciate it. Appreciate your support. Okay, so when we get to the edge here, I'm just going to cut this even. And you can overlap it a little bit. That doesn't matter. And then I'm just going to put the glue on where I don't have any. And then it will overlap this other piece of material or the same material, but on the other side. And there you go. And see where it made a little pucker there. That's okay. I'm going to take a little bit of um, Mod Podge and lay that down. So right here, I laid it down towards the seam. Okay, so then we're going to take the rest of our piece here and we're going to start down at the bottom. And I'm just going to overlap it on this top piece. And then I want it to hang even on the bottom of the tin. And like I said, you could use hot glue if you want. You don't have to use Mod Podge. I just chose to use Mod Podge because uh, it gets the whole piece of the material. Whereas if you hot glue it, you're basically only going to be gluing it in certain places. I wanted mine to adhere to the, um, to the whole piece of material. But that's just my preference. You can do um, the hot glue. I would suggest using the high temperature hot glue because like I said, if you use it on metal or wood, you need the high temperature hot glue. If you use it on um, other things, then you can use the low temperature. I didn't realize there was a difference until I got one of those dual, dual uh, hot glue guns and then it, it told you what to use it on. So this is what we have so far. Isn't that pretty? Nice fall colors. It's um, kind of a golden um, and then some brown and tannish. I just thought that was really pretty. So we're going to continue on around. And like I said, we are overlapping it on our top piece. So you want to make sure you get your um, Mod Podge partially on the top piece of the material. And since this is an uneven surface, you are going to have some wrinkles. And I'm just going to lay it down here and Mod Podge it so that it lays flat. So just like that. Okay, and we just have this little piece right here to go. And I will overlap it a little bit on, on both sides here. The end and um, where we're starting this new piece. I'm using the um, the matte Mod Podge. Sorry, matte Mod Podge. And then I'm just going to cut this piece off. And then I want to make sure everything is Mod Podged down. And this um, turned a little bit, 
You see, I'm going to cut a little extra off there. Okay. And this is what we have. Let me put some more Mod Podge right here. I want to make sure that my material is fully adhered to my container. Okay, so this is what we have. This is going to be our front. The back is where we pieced it together. And I'm just going to set this aside and then we'll work on our pumpkin here. So uh, I have a little piece of um, sanding block here and I am going to go over the edges and it just cleans up the scrapbook paper that's hanging over. Instead of using your scissors, which you'll never get as close to it as you uh, need to, you use the sanding block and that'll take care of those uh, the pieces that are hanging over. I don't know if you can see that or not, but it's taking it right off. And these are the pumpkins that are the um, ornaments from the Dollar Tree that come five in a package and we're doing actually three of them we have three of them for this project and the sanding blocks that I have actually came from Harbor Freight there were 10 in a pack for $5. So it's about half the price of the ones you would get at the Dollar Tree, which actually when I ran out, I, I could no longer find it at the Dollar Tree. I don't know if they stopped ordering it or if they just didn't have it at the time I was looking for it. So it's kind of hit or miss, but like I said, if you go to Harbor Freight, you can get it for half the price. Or you can just use regular uh, sandpaper. It might be easier, actually. So how's everybody today? Everybody, I think there's just one person on there. Alice, how are you today? We have the long Labor Day weekend coming up Monday. have my brother's birthday today. I called him. He's 65. You know, it's a little more difficult to get into the crevices here. You can use your um, scissors for that if you can get in there. Or you can use your fingernail. not as easy but just keep at it you'll get it okay so we have all three of the um, pumpkins ready to go and I'm just gonna set this aside we don't need this anymore and so we have our container and then I have this, um, this is just some white foam. Now, and I cut it down and I rounded the edges and everything so that it would fit down in my, um, down in my container. And then I'm just gonna kinda hot glue that in there a little bit. I'm just gonna drop some hot glue. I'm just going to put this down in there and I'm going to hold it for a few seconds. Yeah, let's see. There we go. Be careful when you touch the bottom. It is pretty warm. So we have that and then I had gotten this um, 
family uh, word from the Dollar Tree earlier when they first put out their um, their Thanksgiving stuff. It's one of those, um, it's not wood, it's one of those boards. So I thought that would be nice to put on the front here, just like this. So I'm going to hot glue that on and I'm going to do mostly the M and the I is what's going to sit on there. I'm putting quite a bit of glue on there and then I'm just going to lay that. You don't want it to hang over the bottom. You want it to be even or a little above it. Oh, and I painted I painted it with this right here. Folk Art English Mustard Acrylic Paint. It's just some old paint that I had for a while. I thought it went really well with the color in the material here. And I'm getting Mod Podge on here. Okay, so that's what we have so far, and then we're going to start decorating the inside. And I know some people, some crafters do this backwards, but I can't do that. And I'm not really a um, flower arranger, so I really need to pay attention to what I'm doing. Oh, and we'll go ahead. I got these skewers here from the Dollar Tree, and um, I'm going to put those on our pumpkins. But we do want to, I guess I'm kind of getting ahead of myself. We do want to stencil these. So I have some words that I chose to stencil with. And I put the links to this stencil, which is the Family Subway stencil, in the description. And I'll also put it in the comments when I get off of here. And then we're, I also put... Um, a link to the chalk paste. We're going to use the brilliant white and then we're also going to use our squeegee. So the words I'm going to use are home, love, and hope. So I'm going to just put that right on my stencil. I mean put my stencil right on my pumpkin flatten it down and then I'm just dipping in and getting some chalk paste out which should be the consistency of either yogurt or uh, sour cream okay got a little bit of that on there I just wipe that off so here's the first one hope and this one, I want to do the word home. So I'm just laying it flat on there. And I'm trying to be careful not to get the other, any of the other words on there. Okay, so I'm just going to lift that off. And I didn't have to fuzz my stencil because um, I've used it a lot. So this one says home, and then this one is going to say love. So, and this is a really good stencil if you want to just use different words. Any of the Subway stencils are good to get for that. And um, I ordered the Christmas one, too, because I thought that one would be a really good one. They are a little bit more expensive, but... Um, they're worth it because you can use them for lots and lots of things. And the words are in different fonts, and I really like that. So I'm just going to put my chalk paste up. And you can, and this is love, and you can cut it apart if you want to. I did cut this word out when I used it. Um, I kind of regret doing that, but it's it's okay. You can still use it. Even the whole stencil, you can still use it. Okay, 
So we're going to let those dry. And then we're going to get back to our container here. So I bought this when I was at Walmart. So this was um, less than $6. And I thought this would be really cute to put in here. Oh, and to, we want to put our sticks on our pumpkins. So like I said, I got these skewers and I'm just going to put them on here under the stem all the way down and leaving the sharp edge to go into our, uh, our uh, what do you call it, foam or whatever you use. You can use um, the green foam from Dollar Tree or Hobby Lobby. This is just some old white foam that I had that I had used for something else and I just took it apart. So here we have Hope. Now we're going to do home and I'm just putting a straight line of glue from the stem on down. Let me get some more glue. And then putting the skewer in it with the pointy side on the bottom. Okay. Oops. And now we have love. So we have family, hope, home, and love. Now there was also a thankful sign, and I do have it too, but I thought the family one would work really well with this project. Okay, so we have this one. Now, now we're going to get to the flower. So I'm just going to cut some of this off and I do want some of the leaves on it. Maybe not all the leaves, but I do want some of it. So I have these wire cutters here and I'm just going to start putting them in here. No certain way right now because I really don't know what I want where. I might have to move it around. I just wanted some nice pretty flowers and some pumpkins to put in there. And then there's some of this, this wheat, I guess it is. going to use this moss too. I wonder if I should go ahead and put that on now. Maybe I should. So this is just some of that Spanish moss from the Dollar Tree. So I think I'm going to go ahead and put some of that in there now before I put all the flowers in. Otherwise it's going to be too cramped up and I'm not going to get it in there. I want everybody to see the moss and not the, um, the white, the white foam. So I'm not gluing it down or anything. I'm just, I'm just putting it in there. I don't think it needs to be glued down. If you want to glue it down, I'm sure you can. I just feel like it's unnecessary. Okay. So we got our moss in there, and then we're just going to continue on with our flowers. Okay. So what do you think so far? Is this starting to look pretty? I might put it on um, my Thanksgiving table this year. I think everybody's going to be there. So I think on this one, I might leave both of the sets of leaves on it. We'll see how that goes. And I'll, I'll cut the stem a little bit larger. Okay, what happened here? Right, he's up. And I'm just going to put it right here. Oh, yeah, that's pretty. 
So let me get the other white one. I'm going to do the same thing to it. Only it only has one set of leaves, but I can use the leaves from one of the other ones that we didn't use. So just going to put this right on here. And then I'm going to put it in the back a little raised up from the other. So this is what we have so far. Isn't that looking pretty? And then we're going to put this other brown one in there. And I'll cut it shorter because it's going to be in front. Here we have that one. Let's put this one. I guess it's as far as it goes. And then we have our pumpkins here. So I think I'm just going to use the one leaf on it. Let's see. So we have it right here. Can you see that? And then I'm going to put one on the other side. These are looking real pretty. that one down a little bit more so you have this one that's a little higher and then this one that's a little shorter and then we're going to put our wheat our wheat in there so I'm not sure how we're going to do this I'm thinking just like this just like this and um, maybe I should have cut it a little longer I'm going to put it in between these. So here we go like this. And then I'll put this one on the other side. I might want to make that a little bit longer. So I'm going to cut this longer. Maybe have it poking out more. Okay, I'm going to take this I guess I could leave that on. I'm going to put it in the middle back here. So I have that one like that. And a piece of mine had come off. Here it is. I'm going to see where that came from. Uh, hmm. I'm not sure where that was. Well, at any rate... We will continue on here. And I think I'll put this back here. Oops. There we go. So I think that's all we're going to do with the flowers. Now, I did also buy this here. But I'm not sure. Let's see what it looks like with our, um, our pumpkins in there. So I want to put one right here in the center. It's my hope. Put my love over here. And then put my home over here. Get this glue off. So we have home. Let me move this one a little bit. Oh. Here we go. So we have home, hope, and love. further. Let me, there we go. Okay. And then get your little glue strings off. Home, hope, and love. 
And you could sit that in the middle of your dining room table. You could uh, put it on your uh, fireplace mantle. You can um, put it on your living room table. And I see my, my M is coming off. My family's coming off here. I need to add a little bit more glue. I'm just going to hold this down. So maybe we should add some of this on there. This was also at Walmart and it was 90, I think it was 97 cents. So it was really affordable. But I thought these were pretty too and uh, less than $6. That's not bad. Let me see. I'll cut one and, and try it and see what I think. Let's see. Oh yeah, that looks pretty. Right there. I think I'll put some more on it. So I just slip the leaves up a little bit and then I cut underneath the leaves. And then I'm just gonna fill it in where I think we should put some, maybe over here behind the pumpkin. And let's do the other two. Maybe one a little bit longer. Oh, two, there's three of them. And then if I need to cut them shorter, I can cut them shorter. Wait, that through. went across the room, didn't it? Okay, so I'm going to put one back here, and I'll show you guys as soon as I get these in here. Okay, we've got one more to go. One more. And then I'll take a picture of this and put it on Liz's craft page so you can see the, the finished product. And if you guys decide to do uh, crafts, please feel free to share your ideas on Liz's craft page. Take a picture of it, um, put it out there so we can see it. I like seeing other people's crafts. So what do you guys think? Give me uh, some hearts or thumbs up if you like this idea. Oh, Dave Yonke's on here. Tracy's on here. Oh, Alice is uh, grand dog sitting. Alice says she loves it. Okay, well, I have my um, mine up on the computer and I didn't see those comments until just now. So thank you all. I'll be back tomorrow at 1130 and I'll have another craft for you. Um, I'm going to try to get to the Dollar Tree today and see if they have any of their Christmas items out. I see other crafters going to their Dollar Trees and they have Christmas out. So I don't want to miss out and uh, neither should you. So if you have one close to you. I suggest going out this week and checking them out and uh, seeing what you can get for the Christmas decor. And uh, because I will be doing a lot of Christmas crafts probably in November, maybe, maybe some in October. So I see Alice said something. Let's see what Alice said. Have a good day. Thank you, Alice. Um, so again, I will see you guys back here tomorrow at 1130 with another craft and until then keep crafting bye